I'd always felt a connection to something deeper within me, something that set me apart from others. It wasn't easy to put into words, but it was as if a piece of the puzzle was missing, and I was determined to find it. It all started when I was a young man, just on the brink of adulthood. I'd sneak into my older sister's room when she was out and experiment with her clothes. The sensation of the soft, flowing fabric against my skin sent shivers of delight down my spine. I'd twirl around in her dresses, my heart racing as I caught glimpses of myself in the mirror, feeling a profound sense of happiness wash over me. It didn't end with just dresses, though. I'd delve into her makeup collection, clumsily applying foundation, eyeshadow, and lipstick. I'd carefully style my hair, letting it cascade around my shoulders. With each stroke of the makeup brush and every curl of my hair, I felt like I was transforming into a version of myself I had longed to discover. As time passed, this desire to feel pretty and feminine became more than just a secret hobby, it became an addiction. I couldn't resist the urge to indulge in these moments of self-expression, even though it was risky. I started collecting my own dresses and makeup, carefully hidden away from prying eyes. My heart pounded in my chest every time I painted my nails or slipped into a new outfit, and the transformation into the image of femininity I held in my mind was exhilarating. With each passing day, I pushed the boundaries further. I learned new makeup techniques, experimented with different hairstyles, and expanded my wardrobe. It wasn't just about dressing up. It was about becoming a princess in my own world, a world where I felt truly myself. As my journey of self-discovery continued, I realized that dressing up in pretty, frilly, and lacy dresses was more than just a secret indulgence. It was an integral part of who I was meant to be. The more I explored this side of myself, the more it felt right. I decided to take a bold step and fully embrace my femininity. I chose a feminine name for myself, one that resonated with me on a profound level, and I introduced myself as Sophia to those who mattered most. It was a symbolic declaration of my identity, a way of acknowledging the person I had always been inside. With each passing day, my male attire found its way to the back of my closet, replaced by an array of beautiful dresses, each more ornate and delicate than the last. Lace, satin, and chiffon became staples in my wardrobe, and I reveled in the delicate sensations they brought. My room was transformed into a princess's sanctuary, filled with soft pastels, plush cushions, and twinkling fairy lights. It was my haven, my refuge from the world outside, where I could be unapologetically me. The decision to dress full-time in these pretty, feminine dresses came with its challenges. Society wasn't always accepting, and I faced moments of prejudice and misunderstanding. But I found strength in the support of friends and loved ones who recognized and embraced my true self. With their encouragement, I ventured out into the world as Sophia, wearing my frilly dresses with pride. My everyday life became a celebration of my femininity. I'd wake up, choosing from a wardrobe filled with dresses that made me feel elegant and beautiful. I'd meticulously apply my makeup and style my hair, taking the time to perfect every detail. Each day, I looked in the mirror and saw the princess I had always envisioned. My house, now transformed into a place befitting a young princess, was a testament to my journey of self-discovery. It was filled with the things I loved, soft pillows, delicate lace curtains, and a myriad of fragrant flowers. It was a reflection of my inner world, a place where I could be free to express my femininity without judgment. Living as Sophia in my princess-inspired house, dressed in the most beautiful outfits, and surrounded by the things that brought me joy, I felt a sense of completeness and happiness I had never known before. I had found my true self, and in embracing my identity, I had discovered the beauty of living life as the princess I was always meant to be. As time went on, my connection to the princess within me deepened, and my desire to fully embrace a princess's life became all-encompassing. It wasn't just about the way I dressed or the decor of my house, it extended to my everyday activities and hobbies. I couldn't resist the allure of a princess's world. I found myself drawn to activities that epitomized grace and beauty. I began to play with dolls, carefully dressing them up and creating intricate stories for them. These dolls became my companions, and I cherished the moments spent in their imaginary world. Makeup became an art form for me, not just a part of my daily routine. 
I would experiment with different looks, trying to recreate the elegance of the princesses I admired. With each brushstroke and each application of makeup, I honed my skills, becoming more adept at highlighting my features and enhancing my natural beauty. While the world outside sometimes raised eyebrows at my choices, I was undeterred. I knew that this was the life I was meant to lead, a life where I could be the princess girl I had always felt inside. I didn't just dress like a princess, I lived like one, immersing myself in activities that brought me joy, fulfillment, and a deep sense of authenticity. Living this life of a princess girl, I found that the urge to explore and express my femininity in every way possible only grew stronger. It was more than a lifestyle, it was a testament to embracing my true self and unapologetically celebrating the beauty that resided within me. In every moment, whether I was playing with dolls, perfecting my makeup, or gracefully dancing in a ballet studio, I was living the life of the princess I had always known I was.